This is a new series that I'm just now deciding that we're going to call I Eat What I Want because I do and I decide to experiment with things when I'm like ooh I had a really good one of this how about I make it like in some point I'm just gonna make pork buns because I really like pork buns whenever I have them so I'm gonna attempt it anyway today we're trying to make um, oh boy I don't even know how to explain this we're trying to make a Swiss roll of some sort my mom used to make a really good Swiss roll but it had dulce de leche inside of it instead of like usually they have some kind of like creamy filling or something but the catch of this Swiss roll is that we're going to be using coconut flour now coconut flour is really hard to deal with apparently and I wish I would have read a little bit more on it before I decided to buy it but apparently you can't use as much coconut flour as you would use regular flour which is what I was just going to do so coconut flour takes up a lot of moisture you just gotta you gotta give it a lot of moisture pretty much and it's very easy to make it gritty so we have a lot of eggs uh, I don't think there's any water in this recipe actually so I don't know it says that if it's too thick add some water we'll see we'll play it by ear so we have one Swiss roll recipe that obviously goes out the window I really just looked up uh, coconut flour sponge cake because usually Swiss rolls are made from sponge cakes so I'm just gonna be working off that it's for a cake that's like round and tall so again we'll we'll see how we play that hopefully it works the same if it's on a sheet pan and on top of that we don't really have dulce de leche which in Mexico um, there's you know a, a thing that we have that's called cajeta and um, we're just gonna try to make some dulce de leche today it's a can method you boil a can of condensed milk <laughs> i don't know we're gonna find out today we'll see how that goes so i guess uh let's get started on this sponge cake we're using nature nature's promise organic coconut flour this person who by the way i'm using a recipe from online for both these things so we'll link it in the description if you want to try it um, I'm making a few adjustments, so watch this if you want to know what the adjustments are. I, I don't know. This says to use Bob's Red Milk Coconut Flour, but there was less in that packet and was more expensive than this. And they say that coconut flour can be really hard to use. You need like a really good one or else the recipe is different. I don't know. But like I said, this is an experiment. We're going to see how this all goes. So we need three quarters cup. And now we need baking soda. One teaspoon baking soda. You know, to me, baking soda is weird. Because you always see that you can clean with it and then you're putting it in your baking. It's weird. So I'm going to put half the salt that they say. They say half teaspoon, I'm going to put a quarter. shaker is this so the thing with coconut flour is you have to apparently sift it multiple times <sighs> coconut flour is just a lot more work than I wanted it to be and I really don't know how to put it back in here so we can sift it again By the way, we're trying to do this with coconut flour because I need to watch my carbs, friendos. So we're trying to find healthy alternatives to my sugar habits, which is why we have honey here. I'm trying to use a natural sweetener instead of sugar. Although we're gonna put condensed milk in it, come on, right? <laughs> so they asked for coconut oil, but I'm only gonna use oil, olive oil, quarter. Another thing, okay, so this, now after we added the oil, we need to add the eggs. What I read separately when I looked up how to bake, how to bake with coconut flour is that you should add eggs, which here we go, four eggs. And this recipe doesn't say it, but you're supposed to whisk 
the egg whites, the two egg whites, um, and make them kind of like until they have stiff peaks. Um, and then fold it in once the mixture is all good because it just makes it lighter. Um, it gives the, the cake more air. I don't know. I don't know the science behind it. Don't ask me. And then we add the vanilla extract. And this one is also asking for almond extract. I don't have that. So I'm just gonna put that amount of vanilla extract. Tablespoon of vanilla extract. That's a lot of vanilla extract if you ask me. And a quarter teaspoon of almond extract, but in this case, more vanilla extract and now it also asks for coconut milk full fat coconut milk again I don't have that I wouldn't uh, so I'm just gonna use regular whole milk half cup I think we were supposed to mix these separately and then put them together, honestly, now that I'm reading this, but um, here we are. We're just gonna, we're just gonna keep chugging along over here. It smells banana-y, honestly, that's weird. Coconut flour is weird. It really looked like there was too much moisture and all of a sudden it's mad thick. We're gonna get this uh, little, little meringue type thing going. always gonna look a little gritty but I don't like it. it smells really good though all right this is looking all right so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna fold this in I don't have one of those like baking spatulas so I'm gonna use a wooden spoon to fold this in that's stiff I don't get folding things in, so I don't know. Someone tell me if my technique is terrible. I mean, I'm sure that other baking spatula thing is better. The flat one? You know what I'm talking about. <sighs> I think we're good to go. Check this out. It's still looking chunky. Uh, we're just gonna, we're just gonna keep going. I wish they had a photo or a thing of them and their batter. Anyway, here we are. So now we're gonna line this pan. What is this? I don't even know. It says 17 BS. What is that gonna mean? Okay, wow. Well, don't judge it. It got burned. <coughs> We're going to line it with parchment paper. Unfortunately, my parchment paper doesn't really fit, so I'm going to have to get two. And I'm hoping I'm not going to get a weird line in the middle and, like, the cake going under. It says to grease the parchment paper. I've never done this, so I feel a little weird about it. Fun fact, parchment paper and wax paper are virtually the same, except you, can, you can't put wax paper in the oven. You can put parchment paper in the oven, though. We're going to do this. Um, I have another pan, just in case it's too much for this one. I don't think it's going to rise enough, but I'm hoping it doesn't spill over. We'll see. We'll, we'll add some, and we'll, we'll see what happens. Ugh, this is weird. I don't even feel like this is going to be a cake, you know? I feel like it's going to be like a weird 
something. I don't know. Biscuit? Cookie? <laughs> Sorry, I said biscuit because I'm watching the Great British cha- um, Baking Show. I think we can do it. Let, let's let's go for it. I'm like, should I make it the thickness I want it? Because... How does coconut flour work? I just... I don't freaking know. I just don't know. But I guess the thinner I make it, the better it is to roll it up later. So I'm just gonna keep going here. I wish I had a, like a smoother top, but... Oh freaking well, am I right, amigos? Into the oven it goes. because I once saw this Swiss roll recipe that had it on really high and left it in for like five minutes. We'll see. I'll keep watching. We got a light, so. Time to test. And test. <laughs> All right. I've made many holes in this because I'm confused. It's clean. All right. First, what's it called? Judgments? The color's uneven. I'm sure it's because some places have more mixture than others, but it looks kind of too toasty. But then if I go like this, that's really soft. So that's cool. I'm gonna hope that with the cooling, this won't, it doesn't, I don't know. I, I just really don't know. We're gonna try to roll it while it's kind of warm. We're gonna let it cool while it's already rolled. I got some wax paper down. I figure now since we're not putting it in the oven, the wax paper would be easier, especially because I can roll this one out instead of using many different pieces of parchment paper. Kinda wet down here. I'm thinking, should I flop it over my hand? And then put it down. I don't know. I'm scared it's gonna crack. What I really, the Great British Baking Show is all about like Swiss rolls and like them not cracking. So uh, in my head, I'm like, don't let it crack. Fuck it. Just gonna go with the parchment paper. I'm gonna try to shimmy this out from under. We're looking good, guys. There's like little crusties because I, I don't know if it's like the thinner parts. Oh, I already made a crack. <sighs> yes, my friends, this is working out. I'm going to cut the little edges that are crusty. Let's try. <laughs> I'm gonna roll this now. Wish me luck. I don't even know if this could roll like that. It feels, honestly, it feels like cornbread. So we roll it while it's warm so that when it's cool and I fill it with stuff, it's easier to roll. It's like a muscle memory type thing. This is working out. Wow, look at that, no cracks. Apparently it's just moist enough. <sighs> Perfect, maybe. All right. Get a shot of that roll. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, now. Time to make this canned dulce leche. This is Mongolia condensed milk. Apparently the trick here is putting this can in a saucepan. I don't know if this is considered a saucepan, but it's a thing that fits the condensed milk can. And we're gonna fill 
this with water. Not fill it, we're gonna bring it halfway up the sides of the can. So we'll see. There's that man crying that he's hungry even though it's only three. Halfway up the sides of the can. I almost got the perfect amount. So we're gonna put it on high until it comes to a boil. And then once it's boiling, we're gonna put it on medium and we're just gonna let it cook for three hours. Three hours. Uh, the swirl is gonna take some time to cool as well. So, you know, I'm just gonna be doing this for another four hours. Which is fine. Dessert time is probably in like four hours, right? All right. See you later, amigos. Okay, so we made our dulce de leche in a condensed milk can. It put it in here for faster cooling. Now let's see if this is what it's supposed to be. That's looking pretty dulce de leche, right? Yeah. Yeah, this seems okay. Seems a little gelatinous. Some, I see some white still, but all right. And this seems pretty cool down too. So let's open her up. Hopefully next time we roll, we're not getting cracks. Oh, look, it broke open. Shaking my head. Well, we're just gonna fill it. Let's just go for it. Yeah, I was thinking maybe one can wasn't gonna be enough, but this looks like enough. I kind of want a thick layer. I'm just gonna dump this whole thing on and see what we can do. I'm gonna roll it and then I'm gonna put it in the fridge so this can set into a nice non, what's it called? Um, non liquidy layer. I've never seen one of these Swiss rolls be this crumply after being unrolled. I'm gonna chalk it up to the coconut flour. Do we have space in the fridge? I don't know. Oof, it's gonna come out. Should I catch it somehow? You know, I'm just gonna lose it. <laughs> just a second, then smoke. That makes sense. <laughs> Gotta get it in the fridge real quick. It's coming out the sides. I know. The sides are gonna get cut off. As, as you can see, it's not a, a uniform Swiss roll there. Now we wait until we have dinner and we're going to eat dessert and see how it tastes. All right, so I cut the ends off and you can see the Swiss roll, but you know, like, not really. I feel like I should have rolled it tighter, maybe? I don't know, but it's all leaking out. Um, it was holding a little firm after I took it out of the fridge, but now that it's out of the fridge and it's kind of hot in here, it's not holding. So it looks kind of a mess, but I'm sure it'll be good anyway. So let's try it. It's pretty good, actually. Wow. The cake is kind of moist, but it's still pretty dense. I don't know. It's it's delicious, actually. 
Got a little bit of a coconut taste. It works. I've never had what this is supposed to be, so I don't know what I'm in for at all, nor do I know how this is different from that. <laughs> this will be interesting. You smelled it? I have no problem with this. <laughs> I don't think I know where the coconut is. Mm -hmm. Seems moist enough. Thanks a lot for joining us in this experiment. If you try it out and you start experimenting more than I am, then please let me know your thoughts. If you bake with coconut flour, I would prefer you um, give me some of your thoughts and um, some suggestions on how to make it better. Other than that, please stay tuned for the next video in this series or another video perhaps um, on our page. You never know what might be coming up. We got some things cooking. So please like, subscribe, click the little notification bell so you know when we have a new one and when we have a new recipe that we want to try. See you later. <laughs>